Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So in this video lecture, we'll be solving this problem packing rectangles. So in this series of binary search algorithms, this is one of the problems on the easiest side which helps us to understand the binary search on an answer space concept. So let's read the problem statement. In this problem, we'll be learning a lot of concept like identifying the monotonic pattern, then we then performing the binary search over the answer variable and so on. So in this problem, we are given n rectangles of the same size. The dimensions of the rectangle is W cross H where W represents the width of the rectangle and H represents the height. And we want to find the square of smallest size into which all these N rectangles can be packed. And the rectangles cannot be rotated. That means, for instance, like in this image, the rectangles are packed like this. And I can't put a rectangle like this or I can't put a rectangle tilted like this they must be placed in the same order that's the condition and we what we have to return in this problem is an integer representing the side of the square into which all these n rectangles can be packed so in the input will be given three integers w h and n representing the width height and the number of rectangles and these variables may go up to 10 raised to the power 9 while in the output we return a single integer representing the length of a side of a square fine so let's better understand this problem statement using an example so let's take this example the tuple given is 2 3 10 that is this is a typical rectangle having a width of 2 units and a height of 3 units and we have 10 such rectangles n is 10 now we want to pack these rectangles into a square of minimum size so let's think about the square Th let's let's say the typical square which will hold all over 10 rectangles will have a side length as x so this x is basically our answer i want to put these rectangles into this square like this so they will be packed like this like this like this like this and so on so in this fashion I will place my rectangles into the square and I want to find the minimum such possible X okay so the target target is to find X so let's try to think let's observe we already know that we're going to solve this problem using binary search and let's see some patterns let's see how we came to the conclusion that binary search is the perfect algorithm to use here so as we know that let's assume that x is our answer what do we mean when we say that x is answer that means x is the length of the square in which i can place all my 10 rectangles if I can place all my 10 rectangles into a square of size x, then I can also put those rectangles into a square of size x plus 1. Fine, it's same as saying that, let's say we have a basket of capacity 10. If I can put 5 fruits into this basket of capacity 10, then I can also put these 5 fruits into a basket of capacity 11. That's what I'm saying here. Similarly, I can also pack these rectangles into a square of size x plus 2 and so on. While I cannot pack these rectangles into a square of size x minus 1 and x minus 2 and so on. So these are these are bad lengths. Let's call them bad. Why do we call them bad? Because we can't put these rectangles into these squares while they are good lengths let's call them good fine so our target is this x we want to find this x into this array so this is my search space basically the search space starts from let's say 0 
so there must be zero present on this side while the maximum I can go would be so imagine the maximum rectangle that I can have so given a particular tuple for any test case WHN what is the maximum size square that I can imagine such that all these rectangles are pushed into that square fine so imagine try to evaluate the size of that square the upper bound for the length x one of the ways is to brute force the length start from the length 1 then just keep doubling this keep multiplying this length by 2 so I multiply this by 2 and check if I can put all these n rectangles into this square then again multiply this to 2 to create it 4 then again check and then again double it to 8 then again check in this way I can find an upper bound there's another way there's a short trick to find that that would be basically max of the length w and h max of w and h multiplied by the number of rectangles so if I take square of this side then I can always push my rectangles I can always pack my rectangles into this square is it clear why I'm taking this I'm taking the larger side of this rectangle and I'm multiplying that larger side with the number of rectangles that I am given fine makes sense why this is an upper bound fine so then how this will help us so this is my upper bound or the uh, right boundary and this is the left boundary that is 0 and this defines my search space search space is from 0 to this integer now I want to binary search over this search space what I want to do how can I binary search this so this search space is basically the search space for my answer so how would I find my x now I would require a boolean function or a predicate function let's call it is valid which takes in any value v and it checks if this is a good integer or a bad integer how it takes in this integer and check if I can pack all my n rectangles into the square which has a side as v if I can pack them then this boolean function is going to return me true otherwise it will return me false that means this boolean function will return true for all the good integers so I would have t true 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 for all these values while I would have false false and false for these values this is a boolean function which is which is going to return me these values these boolean values all you want to do is to just find the very first integer into this search space which returns me true that's all because the first integer which returns me true will be the minimum square that we require that is x here so that's how I will spot my x now the rest is simply binary search it is very similar to the problem that we saw like find the first occurrence of a particular integer in a sorted array now the problem is same let's define this function is valid how would I define my is valid function let's see that okay so what does this function checks it takes in this integer and check if the square of dimensions x cross x can hold all, all my n rectangles or not that's what this function basically checks so w is the width of the rectangle and height h is the height of the rectangle which I want to pack into this square line so if this side has a length of x and the width of each rectangle which I want to which I want to horizontally align is w then x divided by w will be the number of rectangles which I can horizontally pack fine similarly if x is the length of the height and h is basically the height of the rectangle 
which I want to vertically pack. So x divided by h will be the number of rectangles which I want to vertically pack. So I get my number of possible rectangles which I pack horizont horizontally and this represents the number of rectangles which I can pack vertically. So total number of rectangles which I can pack will be the product of these two values. That will be x divided by w. So these are the number of rectangles which I can pack in a square of size x. So these rectangles must be greater than or equal to the number of the number of rectangles that we have, which is n. So we have to return this boolean, and that's all. That's the condition. That's the definition of is valued function. That's all we have to do in this. Fine. I hope you got how we define our is value function. Let's see the implementation of the algorithm that we explained here. Okay, so this is the implementation. This is my implementation. So before you jump into my implementation, try to implement the solution by yourself because that would really enhance your implementation skills after you can watch my implementation from this point. So this is the is valued function which checks if a given but square is a valid square by counting the number of rectangles which I can pack and the rectangles which I am given while this is the function min size square which takes in the dimensions of the rectangle the number of rectangles and here are the boundary points the search space that is from 0 to this value and I am simply performing the binary search that is binary search over this space and we can also say that binary search on answer so I find the midpoint I check if this midpoint is a valid integer if this is a valid square so if it is a valid square then I reduce the search space till this valid point that is from L till this mid because the first square which is a valid square will lie into this search space otherwise I will decrease the search space from mid to R here because the first square which is valid will lie in this search space so in this manner I will finally calculate my first valid square and the length will be stored in this L variable so this is simple the binary search which we have explained in our previous videos so this is the implementation of this solution let's see the time and space complexity okay so since this is just a binary search the time complexity for the binary search is big of log n because I am performing binary search over answer so this n basically represents the size of the search space that is R L fine and the space complexity for the given implementation is constant because I'm not using any extra space for implementing my solution it's just a binary search so that's all about it let's jump to the code implementation okay so this is the solution class and I'm defining so I'm using a macro LL because I will be dealing with very large numbers because the maximum size of rectangle may go up to a very large number because the sides of the rectangles goes up to 10 raised to the power 9 while the number of rectangles also goes up to 10 raised to the power 9 that's why I will use long long instead of int to store all my values so let's define a function min size square which takes in the dimensions of the rectangle and the number of rectangles and it returns the size of the minimum square which is a valid square so I initialize the search space L with 0 and R with let's say 1 I will calculate the right boundary using brute force approach so how would I do that so before I calculate the right boundary I will define my predicate function or the boolean function the boolean function is basically the is valid function so what it does is it takes in the dimensions of the rectangles the number of rectangles and the midpoint or the 
size that we have guessed and I will simply check if the guessed size is the valid size x divided by h multiplied by x divided by w if this must be greater than equals to n okay so this so these variables are not int I'm using long long here so okay so from this point onwards I will calculate my right boundary how would I do that I will use a while loop and I will call this function is valid for r and I will check if it gives me false if it is giving me false that means r is not a valid size of the square so if it is not a valid size of the square then I'm gonna double this size and in this fashion I will find my upper bound here now I will perform my binary search that is L plus 1 less than R I will calculate the mid value L plus R minus L divided by 2 I will check if this is valid so if this is valid then I will update my R to mid otherwise I will update my L to mid plus 1 finally L will store the answer so I will return the L right from here fine so this is the Im final implementation in C++ let's see the implementation in other languages so this is the implementation in Java and this is the implementation in Python language so that's all for this video if you like the video then hit the like button we will continue in the series for more such problems I hope you are learning something new from my videos then make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and give your feedback in the comments below so I will see you in my next video with a yet another problem on binary search